It's Jim and Bob here bringing you yet another Blood Bowl encounter. I just can't get enough of this sport, Bob, and I imagine that it's the same for our viewers. They love it, Jim. And we'll soon be providing even more bloody images thanks to our new fist cam technology. Yes, it's amazing how many cameras you can build into a knuckle duster. Clean take up there, nothing to say. And I don't have any remark to add, my friend. That face job is a lot cheaper than a plastic surgeon. I don't know if he planned it, but it won't do him any harm in the looks department. the other. That's a technical term. It's in the hand. Look over there. Some cute little elf beauties are selling big moot sandwiches in the stands. Hey, I'm off to get one. I'll be back in five minutes. And so now you like big moot sandwiches? Yes, no way. A little elf beauty? Yeah. of when I took Griff to bits in the 91 final against Reitland. Oh, yeah. You kneecapped him. That right hook was worthy of a black hawk. You're telling me it'll take a while to get over it. And don't forget, children, don't try and do this at home. Remember, these are seasoned professionals. Well, one of them is anyway. Do you remember when the first necromantic teams started to appear in the minor circuits, Bob? Oh yeah, that sure was fun, Jim. Especially when they fielded skeletons and werewolves at the same time, Bob. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the werewolves kept running away with the skeleton's bones, much to the delight of the fans. <laughs> Ouch! Right in the face! The other guy couldn't dodge that one. It's a great spectacle, Bob. A recent medical report 
stated that cerebral hemorrhages were less frequent in Blood Bowl players. Amazing when you come to think of it. Not really, when you consider that brains are also less frequent. You have to be counted to ten to be officially knocked out. In his case, I think that they could count to five thousand, and it wouldn't change a thing. This player needs some time to get his senses back. What a coward! Get up, loser! Getting dangerously close to the end zone. onto the pitch. Wow! A veritable Blood Bowl legend. And what am I then? A venerable Blood Bowl legend. Mm. Oh! No, I'm not the one who actually plays the ball. about the evil gits the team that is made up of a mix of evil players their fans won the most evil supporters of the year award fully merited from what i've seen in a game as physical as this the player is really in the right place exactly it's really ugly Now he's looking around for support. score a touchdown. Laid out on the pitch like that. That's one regulation clobbering. Funny how a rabbit punch sounds so inoffensive and yet is so effective. If he's lucky, it's just a knockout. We can thank the Necromantic Broadcasting Circle for introducing the sport to so many necromancers. That's true, Jim. Blood Bowl would surely be empty without howling werewolves and flesh golems and their replacement limbs. Poetry in motion. What we'd like to see... More, more often. often. be an important part. Good job there from a pair of safe hands. Funny how his head went one way and the body the other. Yeah, must have an elastic job. He's got the ball! Missed. I give up. These players 
Junior shouldn't even be on the pitch! Yes, they really could do with some training. He'll have a bit of trouble blowing his nose from now on. They can start to move forward. The Blood Bowl annals are littered with the stories of teams who've gone bust with crippling debts. And with the cost of doping and bribery on the rise, the problem won't be going away. As soon as he throws his first punch... We know the opponent will be out for lunch. The interval will give the supporters a chance to shout. Well, some didn't even wait for the whistle. About to start. Yeah, now's the time to sneak off to the bar to grab a couple of pints of troll juice. Ah, too late, Jim. The supporters drank it dry. We should keep an eye out for action in the stands then. Left punch, right on the nose. Sure was, Jim. It's broken now. <laughs> what Phoenix? What style? What perfection? What a hammer blow! This player has opened the slapping box and gives rather generously. Doping is really endemic in this sport. Isn't it written into the game rules? With a player of his ilk coming onto the pitch, the match is going to take on a completely different complexion. Yeah, blood red.
There was a time when the Colleges of Magic hadn't yet ruled on limiting wizard assistance to teams. Who could forget the infamous 2472 Quagmire incident, when rampant spellcasting caused the entire Bright Crusader Stadium to sink into the earth? Nobody could forget that. People were blinded for miles around the stadium. This player was really strong. Do you think they have some troll blood in them? Mm, could be. Or maybe his opponent shouldn't speak that way about the family. That's what happens when a pro crosses an amateur. Yes, splotch. Straight, that hurts. The referee's guild has decided to hire a bodyguard for each game. Another brilliant idea. And just how effective will one bodyguard be against a stadium full of supporters? True, could be a bit one sided. It is a violent sport. He may be a star, but he hit the deck just like any other player. Somehow he managed to slip the tackle. What a shame. Nice move. This is really agile. The opponent couldn't do anything. Now there's one that won't be coming back in a hurry. Senseless. You're assuming then that he had something between his ears to begin with. Just look at the fans. They're red hot. A majority of supporters reckon that the league should take measures to prevent the small minority of peaceful fans from watching a match from the terraces. They've got a point. If they don't want to join in the fun, they might as well stay home and watch it on cable vision. see a big star go down like that. Big stars is probably what he's seeing right now. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep, upside down. That's one way to look at things. Got rid of his opponent with ease. Very nice. The opponent looks like he's fighting himself. He sent him down for a chat with the Astro Granite.
Today's insight comes from Jaime Schnivel, coach and owner of the Goblin Lowdown Rats team. In yesterday's Spike magazine, he said that Blood Bowl was like war. No winners, just survivors. Oh, that's deep. About as deep as his team's position in the rankings. Ouch! The big star has now got a big wound to go with his big reputation. What a mean hit. As you say, it is pure art. Go back home now. The opponent is left just flapping around. But that's what I call dodge. Oh, that was a bad miss. We could change the outcome of the whole match. Let's not get too carried away. player just needs to survive! Who doesn't remember the Badlands dead skins and their mummies back in the old days, Bob? A very interesting story indeed, Jim. Apparently, Javlok Kavlok, the head coach of the Deadskins, was unable to find some preserved mummies, so he fielded two flesh golems instead! Indeed, Bob, and he clad them from head to toe in bandages! <laughs> <laughs> He checked that move. Made him look stupid, you mean. Squeeze through the smallest of gaps. First team to experiment with flesh golems instead of mummies? Oh yeah, Bob! The famous flesh golem, Frank Einstein, made a debut with that team. Oh yeah, Jim. Frank lost count of his replacement limbs. You think he'll be able to get up after that blow, Jim? Oh, yes. He's not the sort to stay down. The match ends with a draw after the final time. Maybe they will continue to fight in the locker rooms. Neither team could force a decision on the pitch, but I'm sure there's plenty of action in the player's tunnel. Nothing like a bit of extra time to decide the outcome of a match. That's what fans pay out good money to see. Yeah, and that high mark is fully justified. They dominated possession and made the opposition look silly. Well, if you got points for staying in your own half of the field, they'd have won hands down. Blood Bowl just ain't what it used to be. Nobody dope to the eyeballs. It's just not entertainment. He's a typical example of RPBA. Ref paid to do bugger all. Yes, they could have got away with murder out there today. They did. 